Hi everyone, this is Halal Ahmed and you are watching Coding This. Guys, welcome to another Gateway Compose tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will talk about text field. Uh, text field is uh, quite similar to edit text. In XML, we are using edit text for taking the user input. And in Jetpack Compose, we use the text field. Okay, so let's start our tutorial. As you can see, this code is from our previous tutorial in which we talk about uh, the text widget, sorry, uh, text uh, composable. Okay, so let me just uh, remove this from here. And uh, I will just simply change this to input input uh, text okay and uh, i will just simply change it uh, here also and i will change it here also okay so inside this uh, what we will do we will uh, define our text field so simply type text field text field okay and uh, in the text field, uh, we have two required values. Uh, parameters are properties are values, uh, anything you can set. Uh, the first one is value and the second one is on change. Okay, so uh, let me uh, format it. And the value, I will just simply uh, pass uh, my channel name like coding exist. And on change will be a lambda function. Okay, so okay uh, we need to add this experimental material 3 here and the error is gone now okay so inside this on change uh, what i will do i will just simply uh, add a log log dot i okay and i will add a tag exist and uh, what i will do i will just simply take a value and it okay so as you can see here this is our uh, text field and below here we will add a label so we can also add a label to our text field so simply type label and the label accept another composable if i uh, just simply go to the text field properties so i will just simply go to the text field properties and here as you can see here is the label and it accept another composable okay so we will come back to our main activity and here i will just simply pass a text composable text composable and in the text i will just simply uh, add a label enter name okay so the label will appear in our text field now if i uh, run my application okay guys as you can see our application is uh, installed and running in our emulator so now if i uh, come here and i want to make some changes to the text so simply i type uh, d here so as you can see the d is added but the value again is coding this okay and if i type e here so if you notice here the e is added on the first log and then the value changed to coding this this is because uh, we assign the value hard coded value to our text field so it uh, it says uh, it uh, the value field the value property say to the text field that your value is coding this so if i want to change it so i cannot change it as you can see in the log it is changing changing but in the text field it is not changing so for this what we will do we will use a state uh, and we will talk about the state uh, in later videos um, briefly but here i will just simply uh, show you an example so i will just simply create a variable here and i will name it uh, state or i will just simply name it uh, my input okay and it will be equal to mutable mutable state of and i will just simply pass a empty string and what i will do i will just simply pass this my input dot value to my value property okay and uh, okay uh, what's the error it is when my input value okay uh, we are getting some error here dot okay uh my mistake this is the mutable state of not a mutable set it is a spelling mistake or okay mutable state of okay this one 
now if i type value here so it will accept the value okay and uh, what we will do in our value on chain we will just simply uh, type my input dot value and we will uh, assign it to this value okay so now uh, we are getting uh, some error here and if i uh, come to this error so creating a state object during composition without using remember so what does this remember mean that the remember means that when our uh, application or our ui state change so this uh, composable will be recomposed this will be recalled okay from the start so if i uh, assign a value here like uh, coding this or my name hilal ahmed so it will not uh, remember the value and if we change the configuration of application or we uh, um, we resume our app or open it again so it it doesn't remember our value and uh, when this uh, function is recalled when this composable is recomposed so the value will be set again to the null or empty string so what we will do here we will just simply uh, click on this more action and uh, okay here is no option for this so what i will do i will just simply uh, cut it from here command x or control x so i will just simply type remember remember and inside this remember i will paste it here and now the error is gone and now let me run my application again so i will run my app again here okay now as you can see we don't have a value uh, because this the default value or the starting value is an empty string if i uh, type here uh, coding this so as you can see now we can type and we can also change this so if i type my name here like hilal ahmed so i can change it by using the state and the remember uh, keyword here okay so that's how we can use uh, text field in our uh, jetpack compose and by using text field we can uh, get the user input from uh, the user okay and we can also add a placeholder here so okay uh, let me add it below here so i will just simply type placeholder and it also accept uh, composable so i will just simply pass a text composable and i will pass uh, username okay now if i run my application and remember our uh, starting value is uh, an empty string so you will notice the placeholder here this is our label okay uh, yeah this is our placeholder if i click on uh, if i uh, enable or uh, focus this edit text sorry edit, not edit text uh, text field so uh, the placeholder is uh, visible now now if i type my name here so the placeholder is gone and it showed my name so that's how we can use the text field in our jetpack compose and we will uh, talk about the state and this remember keyword in our upcoming videos in detail and that's it for uh, that's it for now and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming jetpack compose tutorial